What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. My name is Miles out of Dallas, Texas, and I'm actually in Elkhart, Indiana right now at the RV Hall of Fame, which you can't see. It is right behind all of these beautiful 2023 Keystone trailers that we have out here, both travel trailers and fifth wheels. So this here is an event where Keystone displays all of their different 2023 lineup models that are coming out, all the different changes and whatnot. And I was fortunate enough to have the opportunity to come out here to get videos of a lot of these things. So I don't have to wait for these to show up at my lot. It might be three months up to six months before some of these models actually get shipped and sent out to where my lot is in Dallas, Texas or to other various dealerships across the country. So really excited to be out here and take a look at all these. We're actually gonna walk through almost every trailer out here. It's crazy, they have nearly 50 different trailers out here that are all brand new for 2023. So we're gonna see if we can go through all of them real quick and then I'll be doing more detailed videos on some of my favorites. I don't have enough time in the amount of time that I'm allowed to be out here to film every single one for YouTube, but I'm gonna be doing my favorites, the one that I like the most, the ones that I think that y'all will like the most. And then as other ones roll into my dealership, I'll get more YouTube videos of those throughout the year. I am also trying to get a 60 second video of every single trailer out here for YouTube shorts, TikTok and Instagram. So go to those as well. There's a link down below in the description of this video where you can find my TikTok and Instagram pages where I am about halfway through them already for the 60 second video. So I think I should be able to get every single RV in a 60 second video for those platforms, but we'll be limited on how many we can do these detailed reviews on for YouTube. But I'm gonna run through everyone in this video here for us to go check out. So let's go. Hey, welcome back to another video. If this is your first time tuning into one of my videos, I'm super excited that you're here. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if you do get something out of this video, consider hitting the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you would like to connect with me on other social media platforms, links to my Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook are down below in the description where you can find other RV related content that I upload regularly. And then finally, if you are interested in this RV, keep in mind I am in a sales position. I do not get paid by my company to come out here and make these videos. I just do this on my own time in hopes of finding people like you that might be interested in this RV. So I would love to personally assist you in helping you make this RV yours. So you can either text me at the number on the screen there or there is a link down below in the description that you can fill out with some basic information that will help me best help you. So go down there and fill out that information if you are interested in this RV and let's get into the video. All right, y'all, I am super excited about this video. There is so much exciting stuff out here. I'm gonna work my way up from smallest to largest. So we're gonna start with these Springdale Minis here, and then you also have the new Passport Solo series that is really awesome as well. So we're gonna start with these. We'll work our way up from smallest to largest. That means we're gonna start with travel trailers, then we're gonna go to mid-profile fifth wheels, and then we're gonna go to full-profile fifth wheels, and then we'll go to toy haulers. That'll kind of be the progression if you just wanna look at particular stuff throughout the video. I try to keep this video as short as possible, but it is very hard with how many RVs are out here, so if this video ends up being an hour long, I'm sorry, but also, you're welcome for coming out here and making an hour long video to show you all these different RVs. So, get into the Springdale Mini. First of all, you have a new graphic package for 2023. There are no 22 models out here, so I don't have anything to show you to compare and contrast, but as these come in and I'm able to make the longer videos on each one, when they come into my lot in Dallas, I'll probably have one or two 22s around that I can compare and contrast things on when that happens. Every single Keystone RV from the smallest, littlest, least expensive stuff all the way up to their biggest stuff are going to be coming with two 100 amp hour Dragonfly lithium batteries from the factory. So that is something that is gonna be standard now, even on your Springdale Mini, you have that. This has a 200 watt solar package on here, and this is the 1810BH. Also gonna be a little bit of a hassle because a lot of these doors out here are locked. So I'm gonna have to unlock these as we go by. Okay. And then a lot of them are not gonna have the lights on as soon as I open them up. So, but I kind of have to just run through it this way to try to get everything finished before they close up for the night. So you can see in this one, you're gonna have a Murphy bed set up here. You have the dinette table in a slide. And then look at that, you can store a kayak in here and there's still so much more room that this could come out. So you have that cargo door on the back where your bunks flip down. And then you're gonna have your bathroom back here. So same color scheme on the inside as the 22 models. Seen this in the uh, Passport Solo series as well where they're going to this north and south two burner stove. So that's pretty interesting. This is the first time we've seen a Murphy bed set up in a Springdale travel trailer. 
So pretty interesting there. Have the slide out as well, giving you more floor space in here. Now I do not have any pricing information on any of these models. I will not know prices for a definite matter of fact until they show up at my lot in Dallas. Now, my goal in this is hopefully if you see something here that you like, something that you possibly like enough that you're like, okay, that's the RV that I want, you can place a deposit on it before it comes in to get your name on it so you have first rider refusal when it comes in. So I can get you purchasing information and pricing information as close as I possibly can over the phone. So my contact information and my inquiry link is down below in the description of this video where you'll be able to find that. Also for 2023, every single Keystone trailer is coming with a tankless water heater. So even on your smallest stuff here, you're gonna have this tankless water heater. The only thing that will not have this is a Montana fifth wheel. So everything else besides the Montana fifth wheel is going to have a tankless water heater on it, including again, your smallest stuff like these Springdale minis here. Let's go to the Passport Solo series. This is cool because you're getting a off-road tire here, kind of like an all-terrain tire on this Passport Solo series. You're gonna have this pitched axle down underneath here to give it more clearance, fully enclosed underbelly. And you can see we have three different models here in this Passport Solo series. So this is a bunk model, it's the rear bath model, and then we have another one up here. The one up front here is actually my favorite and I can't remember the model number on it. But we'll take a look at all three. This is the 18RB right here. So this is your rear bath model. This is gonna be like a Springdale 1860 SS that you might've seen on my page before. It has this super slide on it. And then this one here with it being a passport is just a little bit more upgraded where you have like the residential air filter in here with your AC system and it is a ducted AC system. So those are things that are different than a Springdale. It has the hyperdeck flooring underneath here, which you'll see that in a lot of my more detailed videos on a specific unit. Big spot for a TV back here, lots of storage back here. Bathroom back in this area. And then all your kitchen set up there. You can see again, you have that north to south two burner stove. And then you have like a full size bed up front here. So really cool models. These are definitely gonna be for like people looking to get more off the grid a little bit, cause they are little, but they're coming with this 400 watt solar package if they're ordered with that. And then you have the spare tire as well that is also the all-terrain tire there. We'll go to this bunk model on this one where you open this up, you have that big access here for storage. This one is gonna have an outdoor kitchen on it. I can already tell as I'm going through this video, I'm probably gonna have to pass on showing things like outdoor kitchens, unless they're just something really fancy and elaborate, because it's just gonna take me so long to go through all these different models. Same type of bed setup on this one. You have the U-shaped dinette here with the pull-out sliding storage there. And then all your storage here in the kitchen area. Same bunk setup that we, see, that we saw kind of in the Springdale there where that bunk flips over. And this one here, this is basically just a pretty significant step up from a Springdale bunkhouse model that would be a single axle. So again, residential, air filter, ducted ACs, things of that nature. Spot for a TV on the wall right there. All right, we'll come back. We have one more solo series right over here. I, like I said, this one is my favorite. It has kind of like a Murphy bed, but it's also kind of not like a Murphy bed. It's interesting. Again, all the same stuff that we've seen on the other one. You have your outdoor kitchen space with the spray port next to it. It has the capital grill or the capital griddle, sorry, that will pull out. And then going inside, you have a front kitchen on this one with this sofa here that lays flat and you have a fold out bed that goes over that like a Murphy bed would and you have a table down underneath there. Then check this out. This is seriously off the chain. You have all this pantry space and then with that magnet latch there, you have a hidden pantry back behind here as well. The coolest thing ever. And then you have a full wall to wall rear bathroom that is gonna give you a ton of space back in here. Same thing, ducted AC system, residential air filter, front windshield, really, really cool model. This here is the uh, PP15FK. So that's gonna be the 15 front kitchen. I don't know what PP stands for yet, honestly. It's a Passport Solo series. You can see the Solo graphic on there and your windshield up front as well. 
two 100 amp hour lithium batteries, and that is that model here. So from here, let's go to this Passport. This is gonna be a 2700 RL, has a 400 watt solar system on it. This is the Passport GT series. So the GT series is going to be like the bigger Passport models, have a three quarter fiberglass automotive grade front cap there, lithium batteries up front, slam latch baggage storage doors there. So that's gonna be different than like your lower price point Passports. So this is getting into a little bit higher level travel trailer. This 2700 RL, definitely a nice touch what they did here, giving you the sofa on the rear wall where a lot of models that have done this similar floor plan do a U-shaped dinette here. So sofa on the rear wall, recliner seating and dinette seating directly across from the TV. Slip the lights on in here. I keep forgetting to turn the lights on when I come in. That TV will come out and swivel. You have the fireplace in there. Furion 12 volt refrigerator. Nice looking backsplash. Same color scheme as the 22 models, but this is a new floor plan. Pass through bathroom and a queen size bed in the bedroom with the second entrance for direct access into the bathroom when you have the slide out closed. So this is a nice model here. This is gonna rival something like a Cougar uh, 25 RDS in a travel trailer, but this is gonna come at a lower price point than a Cougar. Again, if you missed the beginning of the video or maybe you skipped ahead a little bit, I don't have pricing information on any of these trailers right now. Um, this is something where there's no pricing here at these events. This is actually a dealer only event for dealers to place their orders for trailers throughout the year. So I won't have exact pricing unless you contact me, which my contact information is down below in the link in the description of this video where you can fill out my RV inquiry form with an RV that you might be interested in. This is another Springdale model here. This is the 281 RK. This one has been getting a lot of hype with a few different videos online already where you have opposing slide outs here in this back area and you have a rear kitchen in a Springdale, which we haven't seen before. So you walk in here, look at the floor space in here. Absolutely incredible. You, wow. Okay, I have to admit, I've seen this online in a couple videos already in the floor space in here. The video does not do it justice. There is no way to explain how open this feels until you come and stand in this model. This is absolutely huge. Wow, this is killer. I'm literally not even exaggerating. This is absolutely killer. Fireplace here, you have your TV there. Pantry space. And then you're gonna have what looks like, yep, pass-through bathroom. Go through there. Wow, really big shower as well. That is a huge shower. And then you have this double access storage here that you can access from here and from here as well. So, and then a um, RV queen bed in the back, two tiered shelving system. Again, just a really, really big shower space that you have there and the barreled ceiling to add to the ceiling height. Very, very nice. This is a awesome, awesome travel trailer, especially that it'll be in that, you know, lower price range than some of the higher end stuff. But this is still giving you an amazing layout at a little bit lower price. So again, this is the 281 RK. Okay, we gotta keep going because there's so much out here. Okay, let's get to the Bullet. Bullet's gonna be pretty comparable to something like the Passport model. It's the 260 RBS. I don't know that that's new. Let's check and see. You can see it has a 400 watt solar system on it. This is new. I have not seen this one before. So a lot of these are gonna be puck lights in your slide out, so it's a little dark because of that but you have your theater seating directly across from your TV here, your kitchen all along this wall. I would guess that's probably, yeah. Oh, you got a nice big outdoor kitchen on the back wall there. So we'll take a look at that in a second. Oh my gosh, look at that pantry. That's why. Okay, I was thinking there might be an outdoor kitchen behind this area, but you have a massive pantry there. So that is huge, the amount of pantry space. Legless dinette table, Hyperdeck flooring underneath here, and then a huge rear bathroom that you have all this storage in as well. And then queen size bed up front. So that's pretty impressive, that pantry. And then if we go to the outdoor kitchen space here, outdoor kitchen space, okay, I love a sink in an outdoor kitchen, prevents you from having to go inside to wash your hands, rinse off stuff, anything like that. And then this looks like it's gonna be a pull out grill right there as well. It's a really nice outdoor kitchen that you have. 
So that is the Bullet Ultralight 260 RBS. Then that's gonna bring us down this aisle here where we have some other bullets. Uh, the Bullet Crossfire is actually the little brother to the bullet. It goes Bullet Crossfire, Bullet, and then Bullet Premier here. So this Crossfire is gonna be a little bit of a step down from the bullet and this is a 2730 BH. We have already seen that, that's not new, so we're not gonna go in that one. This Premier here, this is a 25FKPR. PR stands for Premier, so it's a 25 front, uh, 25 front kitchen, essentially. So this has the front kitchen on it, 400 watt solar package. The Premier comes with a full one piece fiberglass front cap with a really nice looking windshield up front as well. Again, tankless, on-demand water heaters on every Keystone trailer for 2023, except for Montana. Turn the ceiling lights on in here and look at this. Solid surface countertops up here in this front kitchen area. Really big space in here. You can hear that there. Big stainless steel sink. The windshield looks great. 12 volt refrigerator, it's a GE refrigerator. And then you have your dinette table, it's a legless dinette table. And then your theater seating directly across from your TV. And then that's probably in here gonna give you a nice big pantry space. Yep. With bathroom back behind here. So you have a really nice bathroom space as well. And then you have the bed in a slide out. So this is going to be a, that looks like that's about the width of a king size bed actually. Huh, I'll have to check on that or someone can let me know down below in the comments. But really big size bed, two ACs on here. You do have a mirror on that wall as well and some wardrobe storage here. And definitely a really neat option with a front kitchen with a bedroom slide that's gonna be under 30 feet in total length. So two slide outs in total in here, really nice looking model. We're gonna keep going this way. Then we have our Sprinter travel trailer. Sprinter is doing some really awesome things too. This is a 372 BHS. Sprinter changed up their graphics on the outside for this year. Looks better than last year, I think. It's a little bit more neutral. Again, every 2023 Keystone trailer is coming with your lithium batteries and the tankless on-demand water heater. I only keep repeating that in case people have skipped ahead to portions of the video and they didn't hear that in the beginning. So we step in here. This is a big travel trailer. This is going to be right at 41 feet, one inches. So it is huge. Really big floor space in here. Love the color of the recliners here and they do have a wireless charging pad right there as well. And it is directly across from your TV. Went to the bigger size, almost residential size refrigerator with this Fury on there. So that's about, I think, can't remember the exact cubic feet, but I want to say about 16 or so. You have your pantry space, solid surface countertop, nice change to the countertop color. Still looks beautiful in here, a nice big bar area. Then you have your bunk room space with the sofa that will make out to a bed, a flip up bunk there. Tons of floor space, lots of windows and storage space here and spot for a TV. And then I wouldn't be surprised if this is probably replacing the 341 BIK from Sprinter. Look at this bathroom. You have your toilet right there when you walk in and then all of this storage space back behind here, a really unique design to a bathroom layout, unlike anything I've seen. And then you have a really clean finish here in the shower as well. So really unique bathroom design, gives you lots of space in there. And then Sprinter in both their travel trailers and fifth wheels are coming with an option to order with washer and dryer installed from the factory. So that is what you will see here in this front cap. You already have washer and dryer and then wardrobe storage all throughout the middle there. This looks like a king size bed in here as well. Close all these up. Close all that up. Really cool looking setup here with that front cap, how that uh, wardrobe storage is. Nice looking headboard with the bed there and the king size bed with your storage here and spot for a TV on the wall. So that is one new Sprinter travel trailer model. And then there's another one next to us here. Okay, 
we're at 18 minutes. I think we're doing all right on time, but this video is definitely gonna end up being long. Um, fiberglass automotive grade front cap, it's just not a full one. It cuts off right about there. And then this one here is a 360 RLS. So this is gonna be a three slide out travel trailer. Again, Sprinter went to this bigger, almost residential size Furion uh, refrigerator there. Really big space in here. This is a pretty standard size um, or pretty standard travel trailer floor plan here, but this gives it, I mean, this is like a fifth wheel feel in here. This ceiling height has got to be at least seven feet in here. Super tall, lots of countertop space, solid surface countertops. This really feels like a fifth wheel in a travel trailer. So basically a flat floor fifth wheel. Pantry space. Gosh, this thing just feels huge. Wow, two sinks in the bathroom. Have your toilet here, shelving, and a nice big shower there. Plenty of shower height in there as well because this drops down a little bit and the ceiling height is already so tall as it is. And then same setup here in the bedroom as the last Sprinter travel trailer that we looked at. So two really impressive models from Sprinter. Plus I'm, I'm uh, really excited to see what their previous floor plans that they'll still be making are gonna look like as well with the new color changes and everything like that. This Bullet Premier here, this is a 33 BKPR. I have no idea what this is. I have not stepped in this one yet. So we're gonna check this one out for the first time together. I can see that there's a big outdoor kitchen setup back there. It looks like at least two slide outs. This is a island kitchen setup. We'll have more lights in the slide out as well. So you have an um, island kitchen here, TV on the back wall. And, oh, I see what they did. Okay, yep. You have a bath and a half now travel trailer from Bullet Premier. So that is pretty important. Um, they haven't had a bath and a half. Actually, sorry, they had the 330 BHS in a Bullet, but not a Bullet Premier. So now this gives you a higher end travel trailer with the bath and a half as the Premier is kind of a step up from the Bullet. So this is like a step up from a Bullet 330 BHS. So I didn't have time to run through every trailer and get everything prepped to show, but you're gonna have big storage here in this restroom. Wow, lots of storage. Pretty cool model. Um, I have seen this model in other travel trailers before, so it's nothing groundbreaking or anything like that, but I'm excited to see it in a premiere. They also added this finish here to give it a little bit more pop of color there in this living area. So, ooh, also have a pantry right here when you walk in as well. So that is a Bullet Premier 33BK PR right there. Again, it has a big outdoor kitchen. I'm just not gonna show that because there is too much stuff that I gotta get to. So let's go find some other travel trailers. Real quick, I do wanna mention something because there you can see behind here, you have the Hideout brand. Um, this is a brand that I actually do not carry at my Dallas location. We do carry this model at my Houston area stores. But just because of how many trailers are out here, I'm gonna stick to just the ones I carry at my Dallas location. Although if you are interested in hideouts, I can also sell you those out of one of my Houston area stores. We also have Arcadia here, which Arcadia, we do not carry at any of my locations. So I'm not gonna be showing videos of those. I do love those trailers, but I'm at a dealership that does not have the license to carry these trailers. So I will not be filming videos of these either. That's gonna bring me to the Cougar here. So this Cougar, this is a 27 BHS. This is a pretty interesting travel trailer layout here. Definitely something I haven't seen before where you're going to have a big U-shaped dinette table on your campsite. So when you walk in here, really interesting layout. Your recliner's directly across from the TV. Nice big U-shaped dinette table. So much seating space here. This looks bigger than a standard U-shaped dinette table. That looks like that can truly sit four to six people depending on the size of the people. Flip up bunk there so you can have that additional storage space under there. Some pantry storage here. Both bunks have privacy curtains, windows, and outlets. Then you have your bathroom back here. And every Cougar travel trailer is going to have a king size bed. Nice looking kitchen. Really open feel. But you have the king size bed with a windshield here. And then Cougar does have new graphics for 2023 as well. 
Definitely a big fan of this. My family, we have a Cougar fifth wheel and these Cougar graphics look way cleaner on these 23s than it does on our 2021 model. Okay, that is everything on the travel trailer side. So that is going to bring us to the Cougar half ton lineup where the Cougar half ton has some of the shortest fifth wheels in the fifth wheel market. And this Cougar got um, upgrades to the graphic package as well as just the front cap, some indentations here that give it a little bit more of that pop with that 3D design this new kind of Cougar logo there as well that looks really clean. Love it. Again, if you skipped all the travel trailer stuff, every Keystone RV is now coming with 200 amp hour Dragonfly lithium batteries and a tankless on-demand water heater. So this will have a tankless on-demand water heater on it. Cougar also got an upgrade to all Goodyear endurance tires on all of their models, travel trailers and fifth wheels. And this here is a 23 MLE, which, oh no, it's locked. Got to unlock it. Let's get in here real quick. This one I haven't looked at yet, so I don't know what's going on in here. Oh, okay, there we go. A really nice looking rear kitchen model. So this is gonna be one that's probably about 27 feet or so, 27, 28 feet. Might actually be truly half ton towable um, because of the size of this. Now that's always up for debate because of payload capacity, hitch weight, things like that. But really nice layout here. This is a new floor plan for sure for 23. You'll have a queen size bed in the bedroom with a wardrobe slide. Um, because of that um, new design to the front cap, you do get a larger portion of this that is straight up and down before that starts to curve there. And then you have your bathroom here. Um, Cougars all come with the in-command system, so that'll link to your phone. You can see your controls for your tankless water heater there. And a pretty cool layout here in that 23 MLE. So again, this is a Cougar 23 MLE right there also i want to say if you're watching this because i've done videos like this at the rv shows and a lot of times i get people that say hey i saw that rv in your video um how much is it i'm showing like over 40 rvs here so i need to make if i try to show the model number on every video or on every model here but if you're looking at something and i don't show the model number for whatever reason uh just try to be able to explain it to me or whatnot so i can help you out this is really cool. This is a Cougar 320 RDS. This actually might be my favorite brand new fifth wheel out of all the brand new Keystone stuff out here. This is gonna be in Cougar's upper line. So this is Cougar half ton. Then you have the Cougar, um, I guess it's just a Cougar. There's really no uh, name for it, but Cougar went to a full profile front cap there. So that means you have a full flat roof up to the front cap. That's gonna give you prep for a stackable washer dryer in the front cap, which Cougar hasn't had before. Also gonna give you a bigger hitch vision plate up front there to see backing up. And then you have the tankless water heater on this Cougar now and the 100 amp hour lithium batteries. Plus I wanna show this real quick. You have a much improved look to your storage compartment underneath here with that same kind of flooring material that they put in the garage of toy haulers. So this is really impressive. This is gonna be their rear den model. This, I don't know if this is just an option or what this is gonna be. I've yet to talk to somebody about this, but this is a grab handle that actually comes all the way down to the end of the step that I believe is just gonna fold up when you're in transport. You can see how it has a magnet there. So that is really interesting. I don't know if that's gonna be a standard thing on Cougar or if that's just an option that's on this model because there's some other ones out here as you can see that don't have that. Solid step coming in, Goodyear Endurance tire and road armor suspension on your Cougar fifth wheels. And look at this thing as we come inside. Amazing kitchen space in here. Absolutely incredible. And again, like I've mentioned multiple times, um, if you've just skipped through different parts of the video, this is just my fast walkthrough of all these because I'm trying to get this video done before we have to leave for the end of the day. And then I'm gonna be doing more detailed videos of a lot of these models that are my favorite while I'm out here. And then all the other ones, I'll have to wait till they actually come into my lot to do a specific video of that one model. But look at this. This is a four seater sectional sofa. You can be seven feet long and fully lay out on this thing. Absolutely incredible. These are two recliners here, it looks like. Yeah, you can see the pull straps for those. And then this, I'm guessing, is gonna pull out to a bed. Yep, that'll pull out to a bed there so you can make a bed. That also, I'm gonna have to show that in a more detailed video of this specific model, how that flips out. Cause I, I'd, I'd be, it would be really cool if that just makes this into one huge giant kind of bed with the way those recliners are positioned. Tons of campsite windows all throughout here. So you'll be able to easily see out to your campsite, retractable TV with a windshield on the back, fireplace, 
and you have your residential air filters here in the Cougar models. The Furion residential size refrigerator coming up front. Bathrooms in the Cougar models are all pretty standard across the board, all pretty much the same. And then you have your king size bed. They added the stands above the windows there so you don't hit your head on those. And then you have the full profile front cap now, which is gonna give you a bigger closet space and a spot for a stackable washer dryer in a Cougar model. So this thing is absolutely amazing. This is my favorite fifth wheel that I've seen so far. And there's some really incredible ones out here. Lots of kitchen storage space. And this seating here is just, I mean, they absolutely killed this. If you're an entertainer and like to have people over, or you just want a big spot to lay out on the couch, you got it now in this model. So I love that. Love that, love that. And again, this is the Cougar 320 RDS. So that's gonna take us back to another Cougar half ton model. This is gonna be your 29 BHL. It's not actually probably half ton towable because of the size of this, but it is in their lower tier Cougar model, I guess you could say. Step in here, this is gonna be like a Cougar 30 BHS travel trailer, but in a fifth wheel now. So you're gonna have a very similar layout to the Cougar 30 BHS travel trailer. With this being a fifth wheel and the fact that they have some more room to play around with, you actually get a dividing wall there with the mirror. Same kind of bench setup in that Cougar 30 BHS travel trailer. And you have a desk back here in the bunk room area. With this L-shaped bunk above, you have a telescopic ladder to get up there. And then this just flips down. These are actually your legs for the bunk bed. And this is gonna be like a full-size bed when this flips down. Plus you have the cargo door there to put additional stuff in here for storage. So this gives you a desk. You have USB ports and outlets underneath there as well. Storage all down underneath there. So you have almost, and it has a door here to close off as well. So you have a private workspace there with a space big enough for multiple monitors and you have the hole there to run wiring down to computers or whatever you may need to do. So a really cool space with this bunkhouse model if people need a office with a bigger desk. Really cool, we're gonna have the same bedroom and bathroom as the, as the other half ton Cougars, so we're not gonna go look at that. And then it will have an outdoor kitchen set up on this one as well. That's underneath the awning where you have the capital griddle there and the refrigerator. All right, another really cool model here is the Cougar. This is a full profile Cougar here with the windshield up front. This is their, let's see here, their 350 DMS, which is gonna stand for Dual Master Suite. So everybody here is trying to copy, of course this door is locked too. Everybody is trying to copy the Avalanche 390 DS and what they did with their dual suite. So everybody has been copying the Avalanche 390 DS with their models, but Cougar here, what they do is they get rid of the loft that was in the 390 DS to give you a true mother-in-law suite. Also gives a four cushion sofa here, so lots of seating space. You have some really cool stuff here. I'm not gonna show this, but this table actually pulls out and you have a full four leg table that you can use for seating here that stores right in there. Washer dryer connection in that area. And then you have a retractable bed in here with a full size bathroom in the back, tons of storage and your shower back here. So this is two full bedrooms, two full bathrooms, and it's under 40 feet. That is what's gonna make this Cougar model so unique is this is gonna be one of the only ones that's under 40 feet that is two full bedrooms and two full bathrooms because this will not be the last time we see a model that is going to have this double suite set up but it is gonna be one that is under 40 feet in a fifth wheel. I totally forgot they were around the corner here, the Outback travel trailers. These are gonna be right on par with the Sprinter and the uh, Cougar travel trailers. One thing I wanna point out with the Sprinter travel trailers too, they're a wide body, so they're 100 inches wide, which is why they feel so dang big in there. Um, but in the Outback, we have a couple really cool things here. And this made me think about it because of the dual suite. You have a 343 DB, which is gonna be a kind of like your dual suite. I don't know exactly what DB stands for with Outback, but you have a king size bed up front with a wardrobe slide out, sliding pocket door. This one has their cloth gray interior furniture color. Big 50 inch screen TV. Let me turn the lights on in here. Where's the light switch? 
I really hope it doesn't feel like I'm flying through this too fast because I want to show everything and I don't want this video to be too long. You have your bathroom here, sliding pocket door for lots of space in there, nice big pantry space here as well. And then you have your second king size bed back in this bedroom. So you get two full king size bed setups here in this Outback travel trailer. So this is something that's new from Outback. Um, a lot of people really fell in love with the Outback color scheme here as well. So really excited that you have this two full bed, full king bed set up here in this trailer. Let's see if there's anything else. Oh yeah, and then there's one other new Outback floor plan. This is Outback's first ever shot at a front kitchen model with their 271 UFK. So this is their ultralight series. It's gonna be a little bit more lightweight You'll be able to see Outback's other color scheme here that they use. And you have a nice big front kitchen here, huge pantry, angle TV, another pantry set up there, pass through bathroom. This is not a groundbreaking floor plan because I have seen this floor plan in many other travel trailers. It's just the first time we've seen it in an Outback with Outback's color scheme here. And you do have a king size bed back here in the bedroom with a dual entrance to the bathroom. And this here is only gonna be about 31 feet. So a nice lightweight, short front kitchen model. Okay, go back to the fifth wheels. Um, we'll stay with the Sprinter here because we were just looking at some of the Cougar models and we'll kind of jump to the Sprinter here for a second while we're over here. This is a 3190 RLS. Have not looked at this model yet, so do not know what to expect. Huh, looks really nice. I don't know why this furniture looks like bubbly to me. Like it has all these soft features to it that gives it like a cloud illusion there. So that's pretty cool. I really like that. This is a, I guess I'm trying to figure out what's unique about this model. Okay, cool. You have a dual sink here in the bathroom with a bigger shower there. So that's a new bathroom setup from Sprinter. And then Full profile front cap, king bed, washer dryer, stackable in here. And because it's a Sprinter, you have the option to get it from the factory installed with washer dryer. All right, so that's this uh, kind of standard rear living setup Sprinter model there. That is new though with that setup. And then this one, again, this is gonna be your another dual suite option where you can see the two entrance here. And I have not, actually that's a lie. I did go in this one earlier. This is their 3900 DBL from Sprinter. So Keystone is coming out with lots of different dual suite options, which is great because these are all gonna come in at various different price ranges with various different features. So you can see the Furion fridge in here again, you kind of got your little coffee area set up there with some storage. Gonna have the dinette table with the two recliner seats. Lots of storage here, ooh, what's behind here? That is a massive pantry space that you're gonna have there. So that is something where like even the Avalanche 390DS did not have a pantry. And this here is going to have a pull-out sofa, a flip-up bunk over it, more storage through here. Oh, it goes through the same spot. Huh, clever. I see what they did. A loft up above there, another kind of loft here, your ladder to get up there, the telescopic ladder. You have a lot of storage space up there, TV already installed. So multiple different levels of bunks. Kids are gonna love that. That looks like a lot of fun for some kids. And then this is a two full bathroom set up here with a bathtub. So if you want a bathtub in your second full bathroom, this option will have it. This is definitely a great one for kids. They elevate that loft there to give you more ceiling height in the shower there as well with a second direct entrance into that bathroom from outside. So really cool kind of bunkhouse model setup. This is more like a bunkhouse than a, you know, kind of dual suite. Same bathroom setup. Sprinter is doing much better with their bathroom setup here, giving you two sinks, this bigger shower, much cleaner look with that, all your storage here. And then again, this one's gonna have the washer dryer option from the factory with some nice shelving here in the wardrobe as well. And king size bed. It's a really cool option there. I can see a lot of kids falling in love with that bunk setup. And I think that wraps up this portion of everything over here. So let's get back over to where the Cougars were and wrap up with the Cougars and then get to some of the bigger 
full profile stuff like the Alpines and Montanas and then get to these toy haulers. So we're gonna come back to these Alpines in a second because Alpine also now has a dual suite model that is gonna be the big brother to the Avalanche 390 DS, um, but they just do it without the loss. So we'll see that in just a second. Let's head down this way here. Look at how many floor plans Cougar has. I mean, one thing I love about representing and working with Keystone and being with a Keystone dealer is they've just been around for so long. They have so many different floor plan options. It is insane. This is gonna be Montana's rear den option, which is also really cool. This is gonna be like a little bit bigger version of the Cougar rear den option. And really they're actually similar in a lot of ways. They're just gonna have their own kind of little identities to them. Let's turn on all these lights in here. Cool, I think that's, yeah, that's enough right there. Really nice looking kitchen. You are gonna get a bigger oven and stove in a Montana high country than a Cougar. Really nice looking backsplash as well that's all framed out. This is a fake tile, but it looks really nice. And then look at this rear den. This is gonna be right at about 35 feet, so that's why they have it designed this way. You have the three cushion sofa there that will make out to a bed. The TV back here, really nice looking LED lighting, campsite windows, a dinette table, and recliners. So you get kind of everything in this package here and you can see it's just a really nice look and feel in here. Definitely can feel it in person as well if it doesn't translate well on camera. Pantry behind there. And then you're gonna have the same bedroom setup and bathroom setup we've seen in Montana high country from the past where you have washer dryer combo connection in there. And then you have your fiberglass one piece shower here. Toilet right behind there. King size bed with a windshield up front. So this is a really cool rear den option as well. Again, right at about 35 feet, gonna keep it a little bit more lightweight than your big 41, 42 foot rear den models. And then Montana High Country also has their dual suite set up. This one has a little outdoor kitchen entertainment area too. Yeah, a suburban griddle and a refrigerator right under the awning. Sorry, get distracted a little bit. You're gonna have this Montana High Country that is gonna be a 381 TB. So this is a Montana High Country 381 TB. Again, if you missed other portions of my video, all Montana, or not all Montana, all Keystone models are coming with two 100 amp hour lithium batteries on them. That's gonna be standard across the board. And everything but Montana is coming with a tankless on-demand water heater. The only reason Montana isn't doing it is because Montana has some other stuff in there that consumes a bit more power than some of the other models, and they can't do the tankless on-demand water heater to fit into code with everything they need to do to stay under the regulations for power consumption, from everything that I understand at least. Um, but every other Keystone model except for Montana will have a tankless on-demand water heater, and Montana's are gonna come with a 16 gallon gas electric water heater. Now, I don't know about the Montana high country just yet, but I know Montana's are coming with a 16 gallon gas electric water heater. So this here, this Montana high country, really cool layout. You're gonna have the booth dinette here, nice LED lighting, recliner seating. You have the loft up above, and then you have the ceiling fan here. Your TV here, it is a smart TV. You have your fireplace. Good amount of storage. They did give you some pantry space. And then this loft actually, because the frame is dropped down just like the 390DS, is just as tall as the loft in the 390DS. However, this one doesn't go back as far because, so that's 33 inches tall just for your reference. So a grown adult can actually crawl up there and not hit their back on the ceiling. This is gonna have a queen size bed back here. And you have, look at how tall. The space in the shower is here. You could be nine feet tall and take a shower in here because they cut that loft off to give you a full height bathroom back here. So a full height bathroom with a ceiling fan in there and a much taller shower because of the loft they just made a little bit smaller. So that's really the biggest change from this to an Avalanche 390DS is the 390DS has a bigger loft but you have a shorter ceiling height in the bathroom and then this will give you a taller ceiling height so that if you're you know, taller than 6'3", six, 6'4", six, and don't feel comfortable in this shower, you have that alternative shower option. And then you'll have your bedroom up here with the king bed 
and washer dryer connections up in the front cap for a stackable washer dryer. So this is Montana High Country's option for a dual suite with a loft. Definitely gonna rival the Avalanche 390DS well. This is a 381 TB with Montana High Country. Has a 400 watt solar package on it as most Montanas that we order are going to have. And then we'll go from here to, oh, it also has a rear entrance as you can see there as well. Then we'll go from here to the Alpine and we'll finish up with Montana because Montana, that is one of my favorite models here as well. So we're gonna finish up with that one. So that brings us to the Alpine. Alpine is, Alpine and Avalanche, I should say. Actually, I haven't looked at the Avalanche. Let's look at the Avalanche first because I don't even know what Avalanche has that's new. Avalanche last year really got put on the map with their 390DS. This is a 360FL from Avalanche, but they made the 390DS and then everybody had to go and copy them about a year and a half later now because the 390DS was so dang successful and that's the model that everybody wants. Still gonna be one of the best dual suite models out there, even as other manufacturers go to creating them. This is an Avalanche front living. It's gonna be a little bit condensed and it looks like the Avalanche front living, they're doing your bathroom here before the bedroom with a walkthrough bathroom there. So it can be a little bit shorter and not need a bath and a half because you're not gonna have company walking through your bathroom there. Wardrobe along the backside, washer dryer prep. And then out front here, you'll have your pantry space since there's no half bath, but this model is gonna stay right at about 40 feet because of the way that they laid it out and kept it right at about 40 feet in a front living. So giving you a little bit shorter option on a front living model with this 360 FL, also has a bigger grab handle on here as well that reaches further down. So that is that Avalanche. And then let's see if there's any other new Avalanches. This is a 302 RS. Have not heard of that one before. So that makes me feel like this has gotta be new. Of course, this one is locked as well. I should just keep my keys out in my hand here. There we go. Cool. So this is gonna be a shorter fifth wheel, gonna be right at about 35 feet. So they probably did this here to give you an outdoor kitchen. So you have your theater seating here directly across from your TV, give you a big dinette table there with a big campsite window. It's gonna be a full profile front cap, so stackable washer dryer up front here, and then pass through bathroom like we're used to seeing in an Avalanche. No interior color changes to Avalanche this year, it looks like, sticking with what worked last year for them, and a little bit different light fixtures in here, but this one should give you an outdoor kitchen space, I would think, yep, there it is right there. So this is in a 35 foot couple style fifth wheel, also gonna give you an outdoor kitchen if that's important to you. Cool, and Avalanche and Alpine are both 100 inch wide body construction fifth wheels. So that'll bring us to the Alpine here. Well, we will go to that one second because that's the 3912 DS. That's gonna be their dual suite. This one here is their 3102 RL. Have not heard of that one. So let's go check out what this one's all about. I think I put the key in upside down every single time. Ooh, look at that, right when you walk in. Nice little shelf there with some spots to hang your clothes. And something on here is not allowing me to turn on the power. So battery disconnect switch is probably off, but I think y'all can still see on camera. This is gonna be very similar to what we just came out of in the Alpine or in the Avalanche, sorry, but it's just in the Alpine finish. So it's gonna have that Insignia four burner stove, this walk-in butler pantry right here. Really hard to see that on camera. Sorry about not having the lights on in here. Dinette table, TV there, and then you'll have an outdoor kitchen just like the Avalanche had with this really nice little space there. Full profile front gap. So you'll have a washer dryer hookups in the front, pass through bathroom there, and then, Come back out. Alpines are gonna have an electric power cord reel on the other side as well. So you will have that, and then they have the touchscreen control panel that'll link to your phone. This is going to be the Avalanche, or not the Avalanche, I always get Avalanche and Alpine mixed up because they're brother sister brands. The Alpine 3912 DS. Definitely one that has been highly anticipated. This is going to be the big brother to the Avalanche 390 DS, where this one is just more of a true mother-in-law suite as well. Same thing when you walk in, you have 
this spot for shoes or whatever you best fit, your uh, spot for different coats and whatnot. And you've got to be kidding me. Why do we not have power? That's driving me crazy. I'm so sorry. I'm going to make a video of this one while I'm out here. So you'll see it with the power on, but I'm going to make a specific video for this one. You have your big 50 inch screen TV, insignia, four burner stove, theater seating here. You have your dinette table there. Similar layout to the 390DS, except this one does give you a pantry here with this walk-in butler pantry. And then no loft in here like the 390DS, so that's going to give you a full height bedroom back here. That's gonna be a queen size bed, two big windows up above there, AC in here, so you're gonna have no problem with staying cool. And all this storage space in here with a TV in here as well. And then this is actually gonna be your bigger of the two bathrooms where you have all this space. It is a full height bathroom, really big shower in here. You'd have to be like eight and a half feet tall to not fit in this shower and lots of space in there. It's actually bigger than the bathroom up front. And then your bathroom and bedroom up front is gonna be pretty standard from what we're used to from Alpine or they'll have a pass through bathroom here, king size bed in the bedroom. Uh, ceiling height in here is gonna be about six, five or six, six or so. And then you have your washer dryer prep up front as well with the king size bed and a TV installed in the bedroom. So this is the Alpine 3912 DS. I know for sure this will be one that I'm making a you know, more full feature video on without a doubt. And let's get over to the Montanas. On the Montana models, we have a new 35 foot Montana fifth wheel here. This is the 3123 RL. And what's different on here, you're gonna see this with a few different Montana models for 2023. It has a new pantry set up on here where when we open this, the pantry in here, make sure that uh, there's a couple different changes. First of all, nice looking island setup that they did there. I wanna make sure all the lights are on in here. Really beautiful looking here as always that you expect from Montana. Really, really beautiful and elegant looking. This is their cobblestone interior package in here, but they have three different color options. And then their pantry here, look at this. So this is actually a, a two tier pantry system where you have one sliding door that way and one sliding door this way to give you a bigger pantry in these models. Also have the LED lighting in there, looks really nice. And then everything in the front is going to be the same as last year from Montana in the bathrooms. So it worked really well from them, was very popular for the most part across the board. Bigger storage here now in your bathrooms. Don't forget you have a speaker in your Montana bathrooms as well. So you can do some shower karaoke. King size bed, a little bit different bed sheet and bed spread setup with the colors there. TV in there, stackable washer dryer prep. So this is a Montana 3123 RL, 3123 RL. And then here you have the Montana 3857 BR. This is their bonus room model. And in this bonus room model here, this here, what really is unique about this is they changed the loft setup. So when I open this up, gotta turn the lights on real quick. get the lights on okay so same kind of island look on here a lot of similarities this is in their bourbon interior color package so you're gonna have your darker colored sofas with the gray colored cabinetry and then check this out in the mid bunk you now have the sofa here that will pull out to make into a bed and a taller slide out box here allowing for this flip up bunk and another window up here and they were able to do that because they just cut the loft here in half, which means you now get direct airflow from the AC system down into this area to help keep it cooler, gives it a bigger feel in here as well. Still get the big desk set up that you can fit multiple monitors on. You're gonna have storage all through here as well. All solid hardwood cabinetry finishes throughout these Montanas. Look really nice. Come up here, you can see it's a single person loft, but you don't lose the sleeping capacity because they added the flip down bunk there. That's just gonna help with the AC into that area. And then your same bedroom and bathroom setup that we saw in the previous model. 
So really cool there. I think that's a pretty unique change that they did. Still looks beautiful in these Montanas as always, as we would expect. And then this one up here is really the showstopper. Now this is a full body paint Montana with a legacy package. Full body paint and a legacy package are two different things. I'll go more in depth when I make an in detail video about this model here. But this is the Montana 3901 RK. So this is their rear kitchen model. And this is an absolute showstopper. So you come in here, you have a three cushion sofa that will pull out to a bed, two recliners and a dinette table all in here. Really nice looking ceiling fan, three ACs, and you have a rear kitchen here that looks absolutely amazing. Lots of floor space in here. They decided to not go with the island in this model to give you all this additional floor space, but there's still so much storage in this area. This is the cottage white interior. So you actually have the cottage white cabinetry here with a different color sofa this year for that cottage white package where this is more of like a dark gray on the sofas. So really like that. Tire pressure monitoring system coming standard on all Montanas. You have more of a kind of um, rounded off countertop there and this is your view down into the living room from the kitchen. Really, really nice. Love this here. This is a good combination of like, if you were to put the Alpine 3910RK rear kitchen and the Solitude 390RK and mash them together, this is what you would get. Cause look at this half bath that you get in here, incredible amount of space. The Solitude 390RK does not have a half bath. And then you come up in here, king size bed. TV already installed in the bedroom. And then look at this. This combines or takes elements from the Alpine 3910RK and gives you this dual sink bathroom in the back here. Shower there with a massive front, make sure those don't fly open, front wardrobe storage area. Stackable washer dryer right here so it doesn't take up your wardrobe space. And has all this shelving in here. You can stand in this closet. It is a walk-in closet. Speaker here in the bathroom again. Soft closed cabinets and drawers. More storage back behind here. I mean, it is just incredible. And again, I apologize for going through these videos so quick. This is all just for one video, but I will do, I will definitely be doing a more detailed video of this model here for sure. That's your bedroom set up there. And this is just a really, really nice combination of a couple different models like this that I've seen in this Montana. So really love this here. Now that wraps up all our fifth wheels. Let's go look at some toy haulers. Here we have this Fusion Vaporlite travel trailer. This is a 25V. So open this up. This is gonna be a fully open concept travel trailer toy hauler. You're gonna have a pass-through bathroom here to your right. TV already installed and a queen size bed in here. This is only about 29 feet in total length. So a really easy toy hauler to get into, a little bit taller than standard travel trailer so you can fit your toys no problem. And then this is a Fusion 428. We've already seen that one. This is their new floor plan this year with the bar set up in the back. So this is a Fusion 421. Can definitely see this becoming a very popular model but the way this is set up where you have a bar in the kitchen. Look at that kitchen, y'all, come on. Come on, y'all. Absolutely amazing, incredible kitchen. I'll probably be doing a video on this model as well. It's like you have pull out trays there that I'm not gonna show in this quick video portion. Three cushion sofa with the bigger cushion in the middle, loft overhead, 13 foot garage welded to the frame tie downs and look at this, this is your bar that's gonna come with four bar stools. This is an optional feature that you can order a Fusion with. And this actually makes out to a full size bed just like a Happy Jack system would. So this gives you a bar entertainment area here in the back as well. Half bath back here, TV that drops down, and your bedroom and bathroom setup is gonna be the same as what we've seen in Fusion models before. So I'm not gonna go up there because that's not gonna be any different. So that is a really cool Fusion model that's gonna be right at about 45, 46 feet. Some of these models are coming with a 12 volt refrigerator outside. So you'll have that there. And it has a mount for a TV with the TV in the pass-through storage compartment. That is it for the Fusions. 
All right, and that is gonna bring us to the Carbon and Raptor lines. Um, Carbon and Raptor, one thing that they're doing new is this drop frame up front. We've seen that from Fusion already that's gonna give you that storage compartment up front. Kind of interesting, because that was something that always separated Fusion from Raptor, that they're now kind of doing the same. This is a 398 model, so that is going to be their 17-foot garage model that we've seen before, so I'm actually not gonna show it here, but they do have that change up front. Here we have our Raptor. This is the full body paint scheme in the blue, white, and black colors. Again, drop frame up front now, giving you more storage there. And then this is a 424 model, which I have not seen before. So let's come inside here and see what's going on in here. Interesting. Okay, okay. Interesting. Okay, I see to my right, we'll see in a second, there's an east to west facing king bed retractable TV with a window behind it, U-shaped kitchen with, I'm guessing there's still a half bath behind it. Looks like to be about a 13 foot garage. Gonna have your same garage set up back here with the TV that comes down and you have your half bath back here as well. So I think this is actually the first time we've seen a Raptor model with a U-shaped kitchen and a half bath. And whoa, okay, you have an Everchill refrigerator here this is new Two looks like that's maybe like a crisper drawer or a freezer drawer and then you have a freezer there that is new as well and i'm curious if this is 110 or 12 volt i don't know but that looks really clean matches the decor in here really well raptor going with the same color scheme from last year have your loft there all your cabinetry here much more bold interior look than a lot of other models and brands out there but at the same time, saw a lot of other models and brands out there copy the Raptor color scheme. So definitely must have worked or done something or caught some attention. And then you have an east to west facing king bed in here, which is going to give you your washer dryer prep in the closet. So stackable washer dryer can go right in there. In the bedroom, so you don't take up garage space because it's about a 13 foot garage back there. You have these floating headboards there that we've seen on the Raptor 420 and then you have your bathroom in here. Nice looking bath. Look at all the storage space in there. Two medicine cabinets, all your drawers, fiberglass one piece shower and more storage to the right there as well. Definitely did a good job with that. Fan of this, this has no campsite slide out either. So you can see here, no slide out on your campsite. So you have more space out here. Marine grade speakers out here, triple axle toy hauler gonna be about 45, uh, 44 feet. Ooh, I don't know what this is and it's locked so I can't play with it, but I'll have to come back and make a video on this specific model later to see more about that. Now this is Raptor's new standard sticker decal package here and what the Raptor looks like with that. So they went to more of this black and gold scheme and then this is their 431, so another triple axle toy hauler from Raptor. Every time I walk up to these doors, I'm like, please be unlocked, please be unlocked. Oh, okay, so um, Raptor, they used to have the 413 model. This is now their 431. So this is gonna give you this L-shaped sectional sofa in here. Ooh, I really like this. I really like this. Two recliners there, nice big walkway here. They kind of give you an extended L-shaped sofa there. So you don't have to have that weird middle piece. Really big windows, really big slide outs, LED lighting in your slides. L-shaped kitchen, direct view of the TV. Just look at how beautiful this looks. I'm just looking at it on camera. The colors in here just look amazing. I love the color tones in these Raptors. You have the same Everchill refrigerator and oh man, look at that. I have not seen a toy hauler with a sectional sofa have a pantry like that. So that is impressive. And what do we have here? This, it just keeps getting better. Okay, this is all pantry storage. All up through here. Wow. Big Max Air fan there. This looks like another 13 foot garage, loft overhead, welded to the frame tie down, and you're gonna have, no way, a full bathroom. You have a full bathroom with a tub. Okay, so this is rivaling the Fusion 430, and I'm not gonna lie, if a Fusion 4, or if this is a 10, that would have to drop a Fusion 430 down to like an eight, because I literally think this is two levels above the Fusion 430, in my opinion, just because of how I feel about Raptor, but wow, wow, wow. Really love this. The fact that you get the pantry in there, the full bathroom, and then the same east to west king bed with the floating headboard with washer dryer in the bedroom now. And then good looking bathroom. Bathroom's a little bit smaller because you're getting a full bath in the back. But man, I love this. This is awesome.
This is awesome. Big fan of this model. And that's just about everything, y'all. I think that's everything here that Keystone has on display that's new for 2023. All right, y'all, that is your walkthrough of all of the brand new 2023 models coming out from Keystone. Like I mentioned, I know I missed the Hideout and the Arcadia lines. Those are because those are lines that I don't carry at my Dallas location. But if I have more time to film those, I will. I'm just so limited in my time out here and I wanted to at least make sure I show everything that I carry at my location. So really appreciate y'all watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you're most excited for with these different changes and whatnot, what your favorite floor plans were, things like that. And I am really excited to get these into my lot and get these into y'all's possession so you can go out and start living in them, camping in them, whatever it is that y'all wanna do with your RV adventures. So that's all I got for y'all. Again, if you are interested in any one of these RVs, it'll be a couple weeks to a couple months before we start getting these in. But my contact information is down below in the description where you can leave your information for me through my RV inquiry form down below in the link in the description. It's the first link down there, or there is a phone number there that you can text my phone number to get in contact with me as well. But I prefer that you go to that RV inquiry link down below. Make sure to let me know what model RV you're looking at if you are interested in one of these RVs. And that's all I got for y'all. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button down below. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, I'll see you out camping.